Dobrý den, vítejte. Herzlich willkommen. Herzlich willkommen. Welcome. Vamos, Vítáme vás. Sveiki. Tere dolemos. Hoš geldiniz. Welcome. Bienvenue. Bratislava is buzzing with the energy of Europe's most ingenious minds. The capital of Slovakia is hosting the 24th edition of USES, the European Union contest for young scientists. Every year the competition brings together some of the brightest, most innovative young people of the world. Aged between 14 and 21, the participants have already won national contests in their countries of origin. They now have to convince a European jury that their work is among the best of the best. To the European Union contest for young scientists. Hello and welcome. This contest is about acknowledging your curiosity and creativity. USIS is much more than a competition. It is a celebration of research and innovation, of the excitement and creativity of science and discovery. One hundred and seventeen girls and boys from 36 countries and European schools have traveled to Slovakia for the experience of a lifetime. Italia! We are very happy and very proud to have you all in here and see you exactly in 4,710 hours. With 79 projects in the running, from chemistry to social sciences, from engineering to mathematics, all fields of science are present and have a chance to win. Haris Ioannou is a high school student from Greece. He spent one and a half years creating a device that could help elderly people or those with disabilities in their day-to-day -day life. Basically, the idea came uh, from uh, my grandmother because one day she, she was trying to uh, cut the TV remote control and I saw her sliding the remote of her uh, fingers. And I said, um, how can I solve such a problem? The answer after one and a half years is this device. Uh, this is a device that can enhance the strength of the human palm by detecting the force which the user tries to, uh, to apply to an object. The user can just slip on the glove and its sensors will detect a faint touch and instantly turn it into a stronger grab. Just to prove the concept, this is my finger, and I'm going just to touch the sensor. And you can see how fast it reacts. With the right amount of funding, this device could be refined and produced as a simpler and thinner plastic glove. Haris is confident that his invention could be on the market soon to help other people like his grandmother. If all goes well, in one and a half years it's going to be on the, on the shelf. Each competing project is assessed by a panel of experienced scientists. Physicist Estelle Mossou is one of them. Like all her colleagues, she takes her UCIS assignment to heart. We had the reports beforehand, so we read these. Uh, so we, get, we have preliminary um, assessments and we had an idea already. Now the idea is to meet them and then see how well they've done. If it's them who did the work as well, that's not necessarily easy to evaluate. I'm really impressed. I mean, it's amazing the work that most of these people have done, and they, a lot of them, are, well, they're all 16 to 20, but some 16-year-old and wasn't doing anywhere near as well as them as at 16. It's extremely impressive. This Italian team has come to uses from Trento. They present an original system to finally carve sculptures from 3D drawings. The software we invented are 3D Designer, which is a 3D drawing software 
that allows you to model 3D complex structures like human faces. The software includes two other complementary parts to manage the machine and decode data. The milling machine then performs complex figures with very high precision. The grayscale image is a better way to describe uh, artistical things. This uh, isn't available on the market and this is the principal innovation of our system. Some of the projects presented in Bratislava even have the potential to save lives. For example, when someone falls into the sea from a boat, the crew has to throw a boy into the water to help locate the person. This team of young sailing enthusiasts has designed a buoy that is more reliable than existing models on the market. The that always function, it has two contacts. That these are the contacts with water, it functions with a battery that goes to the lead and when you throw it into the sea, it automatically uh, lights, for example here, it lights automatically. In between interviews with the jury, our young scientists have time to recharge batteries. Uses is also a place for them to relax, exchange ideas with new friends and build a network for their future as a researcher. Here's another invention that has already found real-life practical applications. This Austrian team has designed a new device to protect cameras used under extreme temperature conditions. Our solution uh, looks really simple, and it is really simple but very efficient. We use normal air, which is compressed and with a special nozzle we developed, um, it blows over the, the window and so it, it saves the gas from getting dirty. The inventors have even decided to make the step from young engineers to entrepreneurs. We have started the patent process in April and let's look how it will be. And you know there are many fields of application, for example uh, thermal waste treatment and so on. There are, is a huge field of application and let's see. Two of the jury members had taken part in the European Union contest for young scientists some years ago, and they keep positive memories of this experience. That time uh, I was interested in biology, and my project was uh, in uh, this field. Now I am an astronomer, so a very different uh, uh, field, but. It it was really important to, uh, to see, okay, uh, research is really beautiful, it is beautiful to meet other people, so uh, in, that, uh, in that moment I understand that I, I would like to become a researcher. Jan Olivier won the contest in 1996. Ça se passait un peu comme vous voyez là, donc on reste au stand, on attend que le jury vienne, on est très nerveux, on se tourne les pouces en, en attendant, tiens, est-ce qu'il va venir On voit un membre du jury qui passe, est-ce qu'il va venir me voir Ah non, il va voir celui d'à côté. Et euh, j'ai des très bons souvenirs aussi d'aller discuter avec les, euh, bah les, les autres candidats des stands d'à côté euh, ou d'aller me promener dans les autres stands, ça c'était vraiment, vraiment super. Au plan personnel, c'est vrai que c'est euh, important pour la confiance en fait. Alongside four intense days of competition, the young scientists take part in a range of conferences and side events. And there are plenty of opportunities to get closer to Slovak culture and spend time with new friends. The 19 jury members meet several times throughout the competition to discuss their appraisals of the projects. They look for projects that are original, carefully executed and well presented. It is a painstaking process to make sure that all contestants are evaluated fairly and thoroughly. 
all projects were visited six times and all vo votes count equally. We try to have votes from experts and votes from non-experts because it is, uh, that gives you the perception of society for those uh, projects. The jury has finally delivered its verdict. The names of the winners will be revealed at the closing ceremony in the historic building of Slovakia's National Theatre. Officials from the European Commission and the Slovak government have come to greet the contestants and hand in 10 main prizes. Another 22 special donated prizes are also awarded. Most of them consist in trips to prestigious research institutes and science events. Nobel Prize. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. I'd like to thank my, my friends, thank them much, Thomas, and we are watching us there. <laughs> excited and honored to be recognized for this award, so very excited. As you can see, I'm not the only one woman who won, but that's also great, <laughs> thanks. I feel great, it was uh, such a nice experience, I feel so happy. Surprised and very happy. The competition was, was very good, the projects were really excellent this year, so yeah, I'm, I'm honored to, to be here on the stage. And the first prize, I mean, <laughs> um, we have won two prizes, so the one is the first prize for the project and the other one is for we are allowed to go to Sweden to the ceremony of the Nobel Prize, Nobel prize you see here. It's quite amazing to go there because it's really unique. The 2012 edition of USIS is coming to an end, but the scientific adventure will continue next year in Prague.